Hi class, welcome to Humanities 290 Special Topics, Edgar Allan Poe. My name is John Clanton and I will be your instructor. Thought we would just um, kind of run through, do a brief uh, background about Poe and talk a little bit about some of the assignments of the class. All right, a little bit of background information here. Um, he was born in 1809 and died in 1849, so he wasn't very old when he passed away. He was 40. His mother died during his youth, and his father abandoned him. And during this um, first week, I have an activity where you get to choose one of the family members and write a little bit about that. After the death of his grandmother, he married his 13-year-old cousin of Virginia in 1835, and Virginia died in 1847. And Poe died, well, of course, 1849. So uh, not a long life, but a very productive one. As you know, somewhat, almost 180 or so years later, right? He's still being studied. And I think my first exposure might have been fifth or sixth grade. So there we go. All right. His education. Um, he entered and dropped from both the University of Virginia and West Point. He ran into debt and started borrowing money, gambling, and getting deeper into debt. Talk a little bit about his writing style. Um, he wrote in a Gothic style, so we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, I read a lot of British uh, Gothics during the same time period, and I really like it. It's cool stuff. Um, very deep, intense, the psychological, right? So later on, we'll get into Freud, the uncanny, uh, things like that. And he off, some of his theme topics are our explorations of a world, right? Dream and nightmare, things like that. And his stories, the past is usually darker, more ominous, and oppresses his hero, heroes and heroines. So a little... Kind of like the reluctant hero type thing. Some questions that I have developed for us for this class is how do writers take advantage of the publication platforms and audiences available to them? So these are general questions, right, that you can apply to any writer. So we are going to apply these to Poe. Um, how do they write into and against the social and political preoccupations of their own time? So we'll get into things like transcendentalism, um, romanticism, and we'll compare how Poe thought about it as opposed to his uh, peers, basically. And another question that we will uh, delve into is why are later readers drawn to texts produced in an earlier historical period? Right. So for us, so so in other words. Why, what's up with uh, the fascination, right? Why are we still reading Poe? And how do their approaches differ from those of their predecessors? What do we gain and what do we lose when we reinterpret and reinvent that work for our own time using new technologies? Again, this will be something that we do right on week 10, a week 11. How do Poe's definitions of romance, transcendentalism, the grotesque, the arabesque, and of course the gothic. How do, how do his ideas compare to those of his peers? So we're going to be looking at some nonfiction work as well and doing some comparisons. Um, the assignments, of course, there's going to be a discussion forums, written responses, a page or two, maybe two of these, maybe three. Um, two papers, I would say between three and five pages. Of course, you can always write more. Um, the first one will be after we have gone over some of themes that Poe uses. You'll write about that. And later on, we'll do like a psychoanalytical interpretive paper. So two essays, a few written responses. A couple of things that I do in an online class that I normally wouldn't do in a face-to-face -face is a graphic essay. I saw some of you um, looking at the roster. I think maybe a few of you have been in 
my classes before and we did one of these. A graphic essay is basically what it says, more pictures, less words, maybe two or three pages. And we'll end the semester tentatively with something called a mixtape. If you grew up in the 80s, like I did, you know, we used to um, buy a little cassette tapes and kind of create our own list, sort of like a playlist, right? So any songs that you might like or you might be aware of that you think would relate to some of the um, other themes that we're going to discuss in Poe's work. So it's just, it's a fun thing, but it is a literary view. You have to create like a theme for your mixtape and you have to talk about, um, basically you have to give a little bit of analysis. So that's that. Um, some other stuff, communication is key. Reach out if you need help. Of course, you can send me an email. Here's my cell number. You can text me anytime. Just, um, uh, just identify yourself because I teach full-time at Delta. And if you don't do that, I won't know which school you're at. But all the assignments will be kept open. Um, so if you get behind or whatever, just know that you can turn them in late. Just try not to get too far behind because then it'll, the stress and the tension will begin to mount. So um, I like to have Zoom sessions, optional. Um, some classes really like it. Others don't. Um, I always kind of send out an email and say, hey, you guys want to meet for Zoom? So if you want to do that, please let me know. But other than that, again, welcome. I hope you have a great quarter and I look forward to seeing you online.